Here we are live at ISC West in Las Vegas, Nevada at our SIA studio. Joining us again from all the way from Israel, we have Mr. Shahar Belkin, and he is the CEO, CTO of FST21. And again, this product, Safe Rise, is getting quite a rise. It's quite a buzz at this show. It won Best New Product Award in the New Product Showcase here at ISC. I have the great honor of uh, speaking to the chairman, the CEO, and uh, Mr. Farkash, and then Mr. Lupo. And now we have Mr. Belkin here to talk to us a little bit about the technology, but he's sharing some really interesting things um, about a story we were just talking tell us let's start with that if we could mr. Belkin regarding you being here three years ago you came to visit the show and what did you find okay three years ago I met the general when he asked me if there is a solution in the market that could secure prevent bad people from coming into a building and I told him that this would be the best place to look for it and we came over three years ago into this show the ISC West and went over the whole show looking for something that could do as good a job as a guard preventing bad people from coming into a building. And surprisingly enough, we found nothing that could do the job. And that was what actually we were looking for. But there was nothing out there. The only good solution we could find was actually the human guard at the door. Right, right. And you, you talked about the technology, and I asked a little question on the technology aspect. However, tell us about the technology, and it's not as elaborate, if you will, in terms of what people might think. You, you coupled the, a great idea with fa fantastic technology that's already there. Is well, that fair? It's true, and I'll go a little bit back. The yes. problem is that the guard, respectful or not respectful, in an entry point, does a great job. I mean, God invented him, and he was, did a good job there, and he can cope with a lot of different aspects of what happens. There's people that come to an access point that are known, there are people that are unknown, people that are allowed to enter, people that are not allowed to enter. That's why no machine until today could cope with that kind of environment. And what we actually developed is a machine, I would call it a machine, but a system that can see, can understand what is seeing, can hear and can talk. So it can actually ask questions, get answers, and see the person, sees his face, recognize him from a database, recognize his behavioral from a database, and eventually can ask him questions, who did you come to visit, or what's your name, and help him in. And as Mr. Farkash said, that it's, it's um, identification versus verification. And even a security guard simply just verifies, right, that somebody is who they are. But being able to identify the demeanor, the mannerism, that I think is what people will find most fascinating, Mr. Belkin. That they're going to look at this and say, whoa, you can tell that that person is up to something or maybe because they have certain demeanors, mannerisms, right, that cause one to be guilty or suspect. No, actually, yeah. that is the wrong approach security has been taken and that's what you mm. see in airports we're not looking for the bad guys we're actually looking for the good guys because the good guys are coping with technology they're looking into the camera right. they're willing to say their name anyone who wouldn't be looking at the camera is already half guilty and right so, there you, so, you have people looking for the wrong things in essence right right just imagine your airports when you're looking only for the good guys no lines everybody going through straightforward and only the bad guys are left to be checked instead of checking all of you, all That's of us. That's such an interesting paradigm shift. I think that will that the way that you're articulating that, just that alone, looking and identifying the good guys, I think is is so important. And that's that's what you're standing on. That's the foundation of, uh, I of your. I totally philosophy. agree. One, the good guys are already in the system because they've been enrolled. Second, they are they want to go in. So I get questions like, what if he's wearing a cap? What if he's wearing sunglasses? Who cares? If you want to go in, you don't wear a cap or sunglasses. You just take them off and look into the camera and walk in. That's so, right. So you don't really let, need to look to those corner places to have the technology not work. You do want it to work. Right, right. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for coming out to visit us and to all of you. And hi, Israel. <laughs> I wanted to say a little um, hello. I know you've come such a far way, and boy, all the more worth it. I know every year is worth it coming out to the ISC West, but there's something extra sweet about this year, I am sure. Right? For us, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're here with Mr. Shahar Belkin, CTO of FST21, and the winner, the Best New Product Award in the New Product Showcase here at ISC West, the winner. And 
and Safe Fries is the product and the innovation to uh, look out for. And we already know we're going to have everyone go to your website. That's www.fst21.com. Thank you so much Thank for coming out, much. and congratulations.